All right, in today's Family First story, it is uh, November still, which is National Family Caregivers Month. Caregiving for a loved one who has dementia can be so, so trying. And if that's you right now, I just want to highlight some ways to help coming from someone who's in your position. My mom's dementia manifests itself typically um, through something called aphasia, which is really a difficulty with recognizing words or finding the right word. Um, and it is a progressive illness. Lindsay Fife had a tough year in 2022. She said she lost her father in the summer, right around the same time her mother got her diagnosis. But she said she worked through it. It's very important to find the joy in the tough days. By, in part, remembering to care for another person, herself. It's easy to give and give and give, um, but you can't give, you know, from an empty well, so to speak. So, how does she do it? First of all, Lindsay said she gets help from her employer, the Wadsworth Athenaeum, and from the state's Family and Medical Leave Act by taking intermittent time off. I'm able to spend a guaranteed day a week um, with my mom, just helping with the things she wants help with or needs help with. And it was also something I was able to use um, during my father's illness. She's also found support online. I'm always listening to YouTube videos. There's so many caregiver support videos even Instagram channels, YouTube channels that just share really great practical tips and tricks. And help from Hartford HealthCare's Center for Healthy Aging. We were able to schedule a site, a visit to my mom's house to just talk through, you know, the things she needs or if um, safety in the home while she's living independently. She also said the Memory Care Center in Wethersfield has been a valuable resource, and she's used all of this help to make those weekly visits with her mom a lot more enjoyable. I had an art opening a couple weeks back. We went to the opening together, mm -hmm. grabbed pizza, um, to just try to remember that um, my mom's impairment doesn't define her. And I really wanted to end with that soundbite that her mother's impairment doesn't define her because, well, of course, the gist of this story is talking about the ways you can help a loved one if you're in that same position. Lindsay is also taking that time just to enjoy life with mm -hmm. her mom. Go out and have fun. Do some things. So that's an important part of the process, too. It's not just about taking care. It's about enjoying the time that they have. Mm -hmm. It can be hard, though, when you're struggling. Right? Absolutely, yeah. That's why the, those resources are so important. Yeah, and the other thing that was the takeaway for Lindsay, she had to try to take care of herself, too, mm -hmm. in order to well, better take, take care, care of herself. You hear that so, so often for when you're a parent or in this, this case as well, you got to put the oxygen mask on yourself right. first. Yep. Hard to do. I'll speak from experience raising two kids on my own and making sure that they're taken care of and then you go okay I'll worry about me later but yeah it's right. of course kind of really not I just have the tendency to do exactly. that everybody first yeah